Sunday 1970s. And the reason we're doing this, I'm particularly pleased to play this one because we actually have the 1970s are here in this building, distilled into one bearded gentleman for the entire decade. There you go. <laughs> It's all about how everyone views the 1970s with rose tinted spectacles. Sorry? What was it if you can't see? Yeah, Bloodstock Yeah, they took it off after. They played the video, started playing it on the Bloodstock live stream, and he took it off after about 30 seconds because there was a picture of Gary Glitter and Jimmy Savile. <laughs> he didn't quite grasp the irony. So now there's all these people who, who assume that Blythe Power supports Savile and. <laughs> Great, you know. Yeah, you're going to get shunned you go from blood That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to think that you are a twisted pedo. <laughs> 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 well, can you just <laughs> Maybe I won't wear my glove to Bloodstock. <laughs> Born in a different England, and it's about. Uh, I remember the 1970s. I grew up in the 1970s, and they were nothing like all these warm sitcoms they show you and talk about all the lovely bands that are on top of the pops. They were full of nasty things, and for me, they were epitomised in the works of the New English Library, in particular a book called Chopper, which is about Hell's Angel and Chopper Harris, who was really nasty. Back in October, I went to Scunthorpe and saw the 1970s. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 